So this is the RoboRace factory. Can we call this a factory? I think so. Well, we build cars here. Looking at a it's lot a, of carbon fiber and some driverless cars right now. Yes. Although I don't like that term driverless. I'm sorry, it's not. Because it's you are a driver and you will be driving with us. <laughs> but there's a couple cars over here that are a little different. That's true. At RoboRace, we have two cars. When you hear about RoboRace, most people think about this, yeah. this car, this is RoboCar. This is crazy. Yeah. In our minds, it's a robot that happens to have four tires. Yeah. I kind of like Essentially. thinking of it like I'll, that. Dude, it looks wild. Yeah. The other car is over here, and we call this DevBot. And I know this one has a cockpit, so yes. this is going to be one of the ones I'm going to pilot. What we've done is we've taken all our technology and added it in. A human can drive the car, but then you can step out and then it can also drive itself. Right. And I want to introduce you to Rowan. Okay. What's up, Rowan? Hi, Rowan. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Have you driven a sports prototype car before? I have not. This is my first time okay. ever even being this close to one. But we replaced the V8 engine there with a the, with the battery. And then you go straight to a motor, which is on a drive shaft to each wheel. It's just a single reduction gearbox. Okay. On each corner. Yep. So they're independent, obviously, uh, with no differential. So you've only got one gear, no need to gear shift. You've yep. just got, you've just got. Which is going to be very. I'm going to be looking for the paddle shifters yeah, yeah. on the steering wheel for a, for a lap or two. I'm sure. How much power? Uh, so we're battery limited, really, to 550 horsepower. How much does the car weigh? In, in pounds. Uh, in pounds, so <laughs> somewhere around 2,200. So that's around. very light. Yeah. So this thing is a rocket ship, essentially. Yeah, it's quick. It's really quick. <laughs> yeah. Have you driven anything electric? No. You get 200 newton meters of torque at each wheel from zero. Wow. So it's huge, yeah. huge torque. Yeah. All right, Ryan, so we've had a bit of a look at the car. We're yep. going to do a seat fit now, so if you could go and grab your suit and uh, get dressed get up, this we'll, thing. we'll get you in. All right. Wow, this place is really amazing. It's really eye-opening, and this is definitely a dream come true situation for me to be able to sit behind one of these cars. But what exactly am I going to be doing in Rome for the Formula E race? We're going to have some track sessions that we're going to be running a, a little challenge. We want to see where the technology is right now. How well can this car drive itself at speed on the street circuit and compare that to you? So we know that you're a professional driver, but you're not necessarily completely focused on circuit racing. Correct. You know what so it's, it's like to go this far from walls though. It's going to be a challenge yeah. regardless. Yeah. So we wanted yeah. it to be a challenge for you. And we also know that this is emerging technology. So you're going to go out, you're going to get some track time, you're going to set a lap time around the, the Rome Formula E uh, track, and then you're going to get out of the car, and then the car is going to drive do itself. Its own thing. <laughs> All right, Rod, so what is the next step? Well, the next step is that we're going to see you in Rome, and right. you're going to find yourself driving... Beating a robot. Or maybe, maybe the robot not. will, <laughs> maybe will have something not. to say about that. <laughs> but you're going to find yourself on the streets of Rome. I can't wait. So we'll see you there. Right on. Right on.